I'm going to practice Siamese Mahjong by doing something I call random pulls. It's a great way to practice decision making when you first get your tiles because it can be a little overwhelming, I must say. If you're new to Siamese Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Let's do some random pulls for Siamese Mahjong. We'll just say we're the dealer, so I'm going to get 28 random tiles. Let's see what we can do with these tiles. Okay, this will be interesting. Look at all these dragons. We have no white dragons. I was thinking we could play the big year hand with bams and cracks. Let's just count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's pretty significant, actually. Let's just pull them together. Okay, so we have no eight bam. Two crack, eight crack. And of course, can't use the joker down there. All right, now, are there any other opportunities to use multiple dragons, like numbers? If we have red and green, that means we would need dots. Dots in like numbers with fives. So let's just pull all the fives together. We have, let's see here. We have a five, five. We have no five bam. We do have twos though. Two bam, two dot, no two crack. Okay, I was thinking that dragon-like uh, number hand would have been nice, but we don't have the right tiles for it. We would need two cracks right here. I suppose we could use that for it. Or even threes. Look, we even have threes. But we have, oh, we got the three dot. There we go. That's a little bit better, just a little bit better right here. Okay, three green, three red dots. And that's nine, nine tiles towards the dragon-like number hand. Let's see here. With the remaining tiles, we have twos and fives. Twos, fives, flowers. Wonder if we could make a lucky 13 work. Seven, five. We have no sevens. We've got fives, we need sevens. We could use that for a seven bam. Let's see how many discards we're left with. Okay, hey, that's not too bad. 10 tiles. So we have like numbers with dragons and addition, seven, five, one, two, mixed suits. We would need seven cracks. Seven cracks right there. The other option with four flowers, let's see here, maybe four flowers or three flowers. Maybe hold the four or five because we could maybe play, actually I think we're closer to this four or five pung hand, but I would hold these for a potential addition hand. 
that's even though there are options and we're between categories there's some flexibility there i think i would start by discarding these here go for like numbers with dragons and then either addition with five seven twelve in mixed suits or four five pung hand with a pair of flowers the last um, consecutive run hand four five and two suits I think that's the way I would play this. If you would do something different, write random pull one in the comment section and what you would do with these tiles. Okay, let's go again. If I had white dragons, I would have maybe played the big ear hand under the singles and pairs hand or category. Okay, here we go. Random pull two. Oops. Okay. Now, let's see here. We have a pung of east. Souths, dragons, look at all those honors. Honors are winds and dragons. And we have one seven. Okay, one seven. I don't think there's anything we can do with ones and sevens in the same suit anyway, unless we break them up. We do have some seven, eight, Seven eight seven eight seven eight. We have two uh, jokers. I'm thinking maybe we could leverage these east and play a quint. Maybe a quint. Let's just see. Okay. So we have a quint with ones and either the reds or greens for the first quint. East one dragon. Then for the remaining, I think these souths might need to be joker bait. And then we have five big odds. Or one, three, five, five, seven, nine odds. I would just hold all the odds. That's not bad, actually. We've got five discards plus Joker bait, but really we have two sets of Joker bait because we won't be able to use both dragons here. Although there is a one suit five, seven, nine possibility here. Five, seven, nine with dragons. The concealed hand under odds. I would hold all these odds though for options. So that's how I would play this. Quint with east green one. Then down here, big odds with dragons concealed. Hold these in case another odd hand comes in. Get rid of the two, four, six, eight and hold these for joker bait. If you would do something different here, write random pull two and what you would do differently. Okay, one more. Okay, here we go. Okay, look at this two, four, six, eight. That's pretty solid, actually. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Maybe even 
two, four, six, eight pair hand. The two, four, six, eight pair hand, second one down under singles and pairs. We could hold the twos for those pairs. And then up here, maybe we could do, let's see, we have three, nine, three, nine, five. I think these nine, this, oh, wait a minute. Seven, eight, nine pair hand. Oh, two pair hands. Wow. Okay. We don't need that if we're going to do a pair hand, nor that. News, seven, eight, nine. Two, four, six, eight pair hand. I think this is pretty solid. Ten tiles. That's pretty darn good right there. Okay, so I would definitely do that. And then the other option, we have a Pung of East. We do have a Joker and a Dragon. Maybe, let's see here. These multiple, look at those multiples. East, Green, Quint maybe. I would definitely start by throwing these away. Four, five, seven. Don't need those. I think I would try for the news with seven, eight, nine. And then I would just hold these for potential quint joker bait with the east green and then any one of these because there could be good joker bait in there. So I, I would start by discarding that those three and just see what happens. This one's kind of rough. But this is pretty solid. Would you force a quint with that first option? Let me know what you would do with all those tiles. If you saw something different, let me know. It is interesting how everybody sees something a little differently. And you know, if you make the right choices along the way, you can make anything work. You can force anything to happen, I think. Well, whether it comes to fruition, that's to be seen. But I think that anything's possible. You just got to be a visionary when you play this game, I think. Even long shots come in sometimes. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing. Click the bell when you do so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss any opportunities to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an inside of the game that will give you an advantage at the table between now and the next random pulls for Siamese Mahjong. May all your picks be keepers.